Hello, this is Miss Noel from Falcon Ridge Elementary. I'm here today to take you through a virtual field trip over the life cycles of a radish and a lima bean through Discovery Education. To begin with, you have to be logged in to Discovery Education through your student portal before you click on the link. And as you could see on the previous page, I'm already logged in. So I'm just going to click on the link and let's get started. It should take you straight to the field trip. And the purpose today is to draw and label the stages of the life cycle of a lima bean and a radish. So much like last week, you're gonna need pencil and paper and you will can pause this video to go get your materials to draw, label, and illustrate the life cycles as we go along. We're going to start with the life cycle of a lima bean video. This is not to reproduction, but it's going to give you a good idea of the life cycle of the lima bean. So this is a time lapse. As we can see, we start in the seed phase. You're going to plant them in the soil, water them. You can see the moisture evaporating. And there we have our first sprout. There's a second sprout. Looks like there's a third sprout. The soil's rising, and now we can see the roots forming. Now we have leaves. You can still see the seed coat. And part of the seed cover right here. That was a good quick snippet of the life cycle of a lima bean. Now we're going to, um, let's see what we're supposed to be doing. Today through the virtual field trip, you will research with the goal to find and illustrate the life cycle of a lima bean and radish. Be sure to include the words life cycle of a lima bean in your illustration and life cycle of a radish in the title of your illustration. Draw arrows to show the order of the stages. You could draw in the shape of a circle or in hor uh, a horizontal line with several pictures. You're gonna need four pictures today. And if you wanna get started on that life cycle of a lima bean, you could start drawing that now. And we're going to take a look at the life cycle of a radish at this time. I don't like the sound on this one. This one is a time lapse, 33 days from seed to harvest. You see those tiny seeds? They're growing their sprouts. And you can already see the red in the seedling has leaves now. And I love that you can see the red in the stems already. Whenever we grow them in the lab, we typically hang them on the wall 
in a plastic baggie wrapped in a napkin and you can see the color come out on the napkin as the seeds germinate. You can see the red in the root and we're going to watch this root develop. It's called a tap root. See how the root's getting fatter, especially over here. You really can't see it too well, but they're really starting to get bigger. You can see the top of the head and the bulb is forming now. Now the leaves are getting bigger, starting to droop. Put in a spoon or a knife and they're prying it out so that you can see how big that bulb has gotten. Now, uh, once you're finished, you need to write a summary explaining the differences between the two life cycles. Our hypothesis at this time should be formed. So can you predict the stages of their life cycles and how they're alike and how they're different. You can write that on your paper now. And we're going to explore this slideshow to discover the stages of the life cycle of a lima bean and a radish. So in the lima bean life cycle, we have, we start with the seed. As we just saw in the video, a lima bean plant's life cycle starts with the planting of a seed. Instead of growing inside a fruit, lima bean seeds grow inside a long curved pod. Each seed or bean is flat and round, and the bean has two identical sides. Between them is a tiny plant or embryo, and in order to grow, the seed has to be planted and watered. So here is a picture of our lima bean seed. This is one in a pod, several in a pod, and there's our embryo. And here's the leaves that are inside that lima bean seed. And this is called the cotyledon. In germination, the water causes the small plant inside the seed, inside the bean to grow and or germinate. Germination occurs when the tiny plant uses the food in the bean to grow and the hard shell around the lima bean bursts open and a root starts to grow downward from the bean into the ground. Here's germination. You remember seeing this in the video when the seed busted open and the roots started to grow? Slowly the bean is lifted above the ground and a stem appears on the lima bean plant. So we're in the seedling stage. Its roots help to anchor the plant to the ground as a seedling and after several days, leaves appear on the stem and grow towards the sunlight. It's amazing how the seed knows which way is up and which way is down. The plant becomes a seedling. Here's a small seedling. Here's another one. You remember seeing that in the video? So we have germination. And now we have a seedling. Then we get to the last phase, which is the adult plant. 
the leaves conduct photosynthesis in this stage, giving the plant more food to grow. Over time, the new plant becomes mature. It then produces buds at its growing tips. These buds eventually open into flowers on the plant. Bees and other flying insects rub pollen, a powdery substance on the insides of the flowers of the plant. So here's how the bees and other flying insects rub the pollen and then they transfer it to other plants. And this is a pod, a seed pod. And that's how we know that we've made it to full adulthood because we have the flowers and we are able to reproduce and make more seeds. So lima pods with seeds begin to grow soon afterwards. The ripe pods spring open and shoot the seeds out and away from the parent. If the seeds fall to the ground, each may grow into a new plant. Then the cycle begins again. In the video that we just watched, we did not see it make, make it to produce more seeds. So we have seed, germination, seedling, and the last stage is adulthood. If you would like to pause the video at this time and collect your illustrations and label them, it may be a good idea. Then we have the radish life cycle. Have you ever eaten a radish? It looks like a little red ball with white crunchy insides. Radishes were first developed in China. The part that people eat are the root. You, <clears throat> like lima beans, radish plants go through a life cycle of several changes. And here's a picture of a fully developed and harvested radish. A lima bean plant starts as a tiny seed. Like lima beans, radishes and you actually grow in a pod. Their seeds grow in a pod. The seeds fall to the ground and they look like this. They are tiny as we saw in our picture. Then we have germination. As a radish seed may germinate very quickly after it's planted, it pushes a root downward to the ground. The root also pushes the seed upwards as it grows larger. Part of it becomes the stem. And this is germination where there are the tiny little roots. They have it on a napkin, kind of like I was telling you that we do in our lab and sometimes it'll produce the red ink on that napkin. There's some germinated seeds. Then we have the seedling. Next, the stem begins to grow leaves. The first leaves are small, but the leaves grow longer and broader as the plant continues to grow. Tiny little leaves, just looks like specks on the ground. These are our seedlings where it has a stem now. And if you see these video YouTube links popping up, they don't work, but you can actually watch full videos if you type in the links exactly as they appear. But if you click on the link, it'll take you back to the beginning of the slideshow and make you start over. Now we have the last phase, which is the adult plant. It Usually takes around 30 to 40 days for a radish plant to go from a seed to an adult plant. As the plant matures, its main root also grows larger and the root grows round and darker in color. Here we go. And to be continued, the adult plant um, also has flowers. A radish can only produce if its flowers are rubbed with pollen from another radish plant. Bees and other flying insects often bring the pollen from one plant to another. And we're going to see an illustration later to show you some adult plants. So this is an adult radish plant and it typically takes two years to make it to adulthood. We did not see that in our picture 
or our video earlier. So to go through the phases, we start with the seed. The package is not part of it. Then we have our what? Germination phase. What is the next phase? What's this called? A seedling. And then the last phase is, yes, an adult. And in this phase, they can reproduce if they have the flowers. If you want to collect your illustrations, you can, you could replay the video and get your illustrations. What is this phase called? We have stage A, which was C. Then we went to stage B. This is a way you could draw it with having a circular type of life cycle. Then we have stage B, which is germination, stage C, which is the seedling, and then stage D, which is the adult. So just like animals, plants have life cycles. The life cycle of a lima bean and the lima bean plant provides a good example of a typical plant life cycle. We have the seed, which the organism starts off as a seed. Then we have germination, which is when the seed begins to grow. Then we have the seedling, which is where the bean is lifting up above the ground and the first leaf starts to appear. Then we have the adult plant and the flowers of the plant. The adult plant will produce seeds at that time. The life cycle of a radish is very similar. It just typically takes two years instead of one in the life cycle of a radish to uh, reach adulthood. I hope you were able to get your illustrations from that video and the slideshow. Now look closely at the differences and the similarities. There's no pictures in this because we just looked at them. So if you wanna look cl closely at those pictures, you can um, note any similarities and differences between those life cycles. We're going to look closely at the pictures in the slideshow. Okay, and so we start with the seed. We have germination, seedling and root growth, flowering stage, fruit and seed development, and it, in a lima bean it typically takes one season. The, for the life cycle of a radish, we had seed, germination, seedling and root growth, which is exactly the same. Then we have the flowering stage and seed production, which typically takes two seasons. Here's an image of the life cycle of the radish. I really like to look at this picture and show my students. There's our first season seedling. First season seedling grows more leaves. Then we have the first season, the plant has developed a large bulb root. And this stage is typically where it is harvested, which is where our video ended earlier. Then we have season two. If the root was not harvested, the plant has used energy stored in the root and you see there's no longer a root and it continues growing. In the second season, the plant forms flower buds at the top. And here's some more plant flowers. And then this, the plant produces seeds at this stage. And in the last, um, at the end of this, you should have your conclusion. The life cycles of the lima bean and radish are very similar. The primary difference is in the development of the bulb root in the radish and the fact that the radish does not produce reproduce until its second season a lima bean reproduces in one season that's it
Thanks, guys. I hope that you enjoyed your video today.